All right, so this, hold on a second there, this is Kenny. Um, I'm actually doing this video, this is for Crypto Land, and before I get started, I want to tell you, I'm not some executive over at Crypto Land, I'm just one of the guys that bought a couple of NFTs. Some people have bought more NFTs than me. I got one land um, that hasn't been minted yet, um, because as of today's date, today's the 25th, it's Monday, April 25th. Minting hasn't started yet, and I got, also got an avatar. And I put on the Discord earlier on today, or actually yesterday, that I finally set up my trust lines. And people have been asking me how to do that. And so instead of kind of explaining it kind of like in Discord, I thought maybe I should just make a video because instead of like I have to keep typing it out again. And so um, in, um, I'm going to walk through that a little bit. And um, if the – I don't know if – kind of like the admins or whatever don't like me doing this. They can always just ask me to take the video down. I'd be happy to do so. Um, it's just that people have been asking me, so I thought this would be the easiest way for me to share it. Because if anyone ever asks, I'm just going to copy and paste this video and send it to them. I'm going to just load this up on YouTube. And so to set up your trust lines, this is all about the trust lines for crypto land. And to set up your trust line, you need to have your Zoom wallet, X-U-M-M. -M, and I really hope that's even how you pronounce the Zoom wallet. And before I even go further, I want to tell you, this is my first foray into the cryptocurrency space. This is the first time I've gotten an NFT. This is the first time I ever bought any cryptocurrency. You are going to need to get some XRP to make this happen. So first thing that you need to do, if you haven't done so already, is you are going to need to, let's see here, get your Zoom wallet, all right? And I... Uh, XUMM wallet. Um, you can get it on Google Play. Uh, there is a link up here. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description of this video, but you can find it on Google Play. I'm sure you can find it also easily if you're on iPhone on the App Store. I'm sure. I know. Um, if you can't, then I'm wrong. I don't claim to be an expert at this. I stumbled through this whole process as we went along. I stumbled through getting my um, trust line set up. And so um, if I can stumble through it, you guys can stumble through it. I'm just going to give you a little bit of direction here. Get your Zoom wallet. It's a little bit of a process. I can't remember. I set this up. It feels like months ago. It might have been maybe six weeks ago when I first set this thing up. But basically, I know that there's a process that when you first get started, you're going to need like a piece of paper and a pen. Um, and that alone is going to take like maybe even up to 10 minutes. But then there's like if I remember correctly, there's like a lot of waiting. Like you have to like hand in some documents and they got to verify it and stuff like that. Um, if I remember correctly, um, but it's been a while back since you're doing that. And then when you get your, your uh, Zoom wallet set up, it's going to look a lot like, let's see here. It's going to look a lot like this. All right. Um, let me put this up here. Here we go. Um, this is from a, a phone screen capture here. You know what's funny is I covered up the address, and I don't even think I need to because I, I don't know. Like, I just covered it up because I wasn't sure. But I think if you have that address, I don't think it's that dangerous to share. I just didn't share because I am just not sure. But I think it's a way for send, uh, people could send you money, right? And so um, I just covered it up. But you're going to see that the, your account is not activated. So in order for you to activate your account, right, really simple is to, first of all, you need 10 XRP and you got to send it to your Zoom wallet, all right? And it's not as easy as kind of like opening up, pressing one of these buttons and then like, you know, putting in your Visa card or your credit card and just buying some XRP and putting it in. You actually have to go somewhere else to buy the XRP and then when you're there, you can send it to your wallet. So think about your wallet as your wallet. You don't like buy stuff at your wallet. You go to the bank to get you know, to, to buy money, to, and then you can put that in your wallet. So you get your money at, from a bank. Um, and so there's a couple places that you can go. Um, I would just Google it. Um, I'm In Canada, I, it was a little bit of a, of a stretch for me because I went to, I think it was Coinbase, then Binance, and none of those were allowing me to purchase XRP. I think it's because I was in Canada. I had to use another, um, I had to use another, I don't know if it's called a currency exchange. I don't know what they're called, right? But I actually just Google how to buy XRP in Canada. 
In the States, it's easier. Wherever you are, it might be easier than me. You might be able to just buy it off of Coinbase or Boy Binance or wherever, but just put in how to buy XRP. And some of you already activated your wallet, so you know exactly what to do. But buy it over there. And by the way, when you set up another account over at Coinbase or or wherever you set, set it up, all right, and by the way, this is not an endorsement for Coinbase, right? I don't even use them. I tried using them. It didn't work out for me. I, I'm not endorsing any of this. This is what I happen to do. And so wherever you buy it, that's a little bit of a process too. That might take you a day because they got to verify stuff over there. And so just so you're aware of that, this isn't something you're going to sit down and, and finish in five minutes. The steps are easy, but there's a lot of like doing stuff and then waiting for stuff to happen. And then once that stuff happens, you got to do it again. So purchase some XRP. You're going to need 10 XRP to activate your wallet. Um, and then you're going to need another two XRP per trust lines that you set up. And so how do you do the trust lines? First of all, make sure your account or your wallet is activated. Right. And so if it says this, just send 10 XRP to it, 10 cents, send 10 XRP to your wallet and then um, it will be activated. But you're going to need at least six more. Actually, it was a little bit more than six for me. I'll show you how afterwards, a little bit more than six for me. I don't know why it was more than six. I'm not that concerned about why it is. All right. I really trust this project. I trust how this is going to be going. And uh, I'm patient because I know that this is going to turn out so, so well. And so, um, again, you're going to need, let's say you're going to need 16 to 17 XRP to finish your trust lines, to activate your wallet and finish up your trust lines. So where do you get your trust lines? Go over to the Discord. Um, and I was looking for it before. This is the general Discord. But I, I remember I found them before. And now it's, oh, it's official links. Go to the official links here. And then you're going to see these trust lines. They're the first three, three things. One, two, three trust lines. Um, there's a Cryptopians trust line. There's a Cryptoland trust line. And then the Cryptoland one trust line. And the way I understand it is that if you don't have any land, I hope you have a land, by the way, but if you don't have a land, then I don't think you need this trust line, right? Um, someone may correct me otherwise. If you just have Cryptopian, you need that one. And then this is for the... I think the crypto land one, that's for generation one lands. The lands that we are minting that are going to be minting in a couple days or a couple months or a couple weeks, I don't know how soon it's going to be. Those are the gen zero. So I think you need this trust line for sure. I got all these. I got all three of them. And then there's a crypto trust line. And so it seems like when the game launches, I'm going to need to set that one up as well. And so I guess you're going to need more than 16. You're going to need 18 or 19. The reason why I say 19, you're, you'll see later on why I say 19 instead of 18. Again, 10 to set it, to activate your wallet and then two more, a little bit more than two more per trust line. And so really simple to set those trust lines up. Really, really simple, really, really easy to set up the Cryptopians trust line. I'm doing this from my PC. You can do it from your phone. Just click on it, right? It's going to bring you to these XRP services and then you're going to see this trust set and it says um, this is, uh, what is this? XRP services, as XRP ledger services. I really don't even know what this means, right? I'm not claiming I know what to do. I just know that this is what worked for me. And so you, you go out there, this pop-up's going to come up. It's going to say confirm. And then you're going to go and go into your Zoom app on your phone. And then um, the middle button will allow you to scan, right? Um, the middle button there, scan it. And then all you got to do is follow the instructions. Do that for every single one of these trust lines. One, two, three. And then when this fourth one comes up here, it says coming soon. You'll do the fourth one. And they're going to cost two each. And then instead of your wallet kind of looking, first of all, where is it? Um, is this one? Yeah. Kind of looking like this, where it's kind of like not activated. First of all, um, I wish I took a screenshot after I activated it um, and then before I did the trust lines. But then um, this is just it's the same wallet. Um, it's just a different theme. This one's light. I will switch it back to dark. Um, but basically what will happen is this is that I, I, I set up my wallet and I put 30 XRP in. So I expected to have 24 XRP when I was done, but then it took two per trust line. You're going to see these trust line tokens pop up after you do it, which is pretty cool, right? And then I thought I would have 24. Instead of 24, I have 23.999955. And so it just took a little bit more than two 
each. Not sure why it did that. Um, maybe someone else will know why and they can tell me how. I'm not ca that concerned about 0 0.5, 0 0.000055 of, uh, of an XRP. I thought I would have 24. I had 30 that I put in, but um, that's all you need to do. Once you set these three trust lines up, all you have to do at this point, it's really simple, is all you got to do is just wait. Wait and trust the process. I I've been working closely with Kramer. Kramer, um, he's active on the discords, Kramer Nunez. I've been, uh, he's the one that showed this, this particular game to me. Again, this is the first time I'm doing any NFTs. I just said, hey, listen, I got my trust line set up. I've activated my wallet. Do I need to do anything? And we just got to sit tight, all right? And this project, I am so looking forward to the start of this project. When I look on the Discord, my goodness, people are super excited when um, they look on the Discord about, you know, when's it going to start up next under, where is it, under general, right, and on um, under holder. These two are pretty active. And then there's the Hindi and Spanish. I don't really go over here because I don't speak the languages, right? Maybe there's some fun stuff happening here, but I just can't figure it out because I don't speak that language. But all we got to do is just got to wait, all right? Once we get those trust lines set up, just sit tight, wait, trust the process. Crypto Corey is, um, I don't know the guy, but for whatever reason, I trust him. And just know that if we get these trust lines set up and we don't rush things, right? We can't be putting pressure on you know, the admins of this, because a lot of this waiting is out of their hands. It's not like they need to do something. It's like there's something happening on another side, some sort of vote or something. And then once that goes through, it's just going to be a couple of weeks or a couple of days before something happens. But the latest thing that Corey said, where was it under general, said something like there's big news. Where was this? Um, yeah, this was yesterday, last night, not even just over 12 hours ago. So 14 hours ago, Crypto Corey said big updates coming this week, right? And chaos, that's me. I'm chaos. I said, yay, right? And so we're super excited about that. Super excited that, uh, that, that those big news, maybe that big news is that that voter or whatever went through. I really don't know how all of this works, but I am one thing that I know for sure is that I'm pretty excited about this. And if you are ed, uh, kind of, becoming impatient about this game starting just sit tight know that it's going to start and know that um when you do it you know that you have a potential of creating a very big life-changing income you know i can't guarantee anything again i'm just some guy that bought some nft some people i heard of some people spending tens of thousand dollars on nfts i just don't have the resources to do that i bought one avatar one land and i hope i get good ones when they mint i'm going to play the game i'm going to build up my wealth and hopefully by the time gen one comes around i'll have built up enough wealth to buy and um to mint more nft tokens and i'm going to build from there and that is what i'm hoping and so i trust this video got some good value for you now i um now you know how to set up your trust lines you know how to activate your wallet and it's really really simple all right, take care. I hope this helps, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.